Let's balance the equation for CH4 plus Cl2. We have methane plus chlorine gas, and we're getting hydrochloric acid in CHCl3. This is chloroform. It's one of the products that you can get when these two react. So let's balance this equation where we form hydrochloric acid in chloroform. First, we count the atoms up. One carbon, four hydrogens, and then two chlorine atoms. Product side, we have carbons. We have one of those. Hydrogen, be careful, we have one here, but we also have one right here in the chloroform. One plus one, that'll give us two hydrogen atoms. Chlorine, again, we have one here and three here. So we have one plus three, that gives us four chlorine atoms. It probably makes sense to leave the chlorine until last. We have Cl2 by itself, it's only chlorine atoms. So when we change this, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So we'll start balancing the hydrogens here. If we put a two in front of the hydrochloric acid, so let's update these numbers here. We have two times two, that's two, plus the one right here. So that gives us three hydrogen atoms. And then chlorine, two times the one, that's two plus the three, that gives us five. So that's not gonna work. We don't have enough hydrogens here. Let's try that again with a different number, about three. So we'll put a three here, Three times one, that's three, plus the one, actually that works, that gives us four, and then three times the one chlorine, that's three, plus we have the three right here. So we have six chlorine atoms, and remember we left this to last because now we need to get six chlorines. Three, two times three, that gives us six, and we're done, this equation is balanced. The key here, be very careful in how you count the number of atoms up on each side. If you wanted to know the states, they'd look like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH4 plus Cl2 yields HCl plus CHCl3. Thanks for watching.